So the Smith kids feel bad for Papa. And they're also saying that they want people to leave their dad alone. This is interesting. P-A-S-C-A-L. What's up, y'all? Support Pascal back at it again with another pop-up Pascal. video. Be sure to follow me on all my social medias, The Pascal Show. One word. Hit that like button down below. And let's not forget to crush that subscribe button if you're watching on YouTube. And if you're watching on Facebook, please be sure to crush that follow button on my Facebook page if this is your first time checking out this channel right here. Anyway, we got to jump into this story. You know, the book is out. She's been doing her thing. I got a video for you guys later on this evening, a little maybe some bedtime stories for you guys. An excerpt out of this book coming to you guys a little bit later uh, that I am very curious about. And I want to get your opinions on it. So that's coming to you guys later this evening. So be on the lookout for that. But now we already know about the book. We already know about everything that's going on. Jade has been out here dropping bombs like Hiroshima. Okay. Little crisscross reference. Deep cut. Anyway, kids, Willow and Jaden are now speaking out, basically saying, hey, leave dad alone. We feel bad for him. I don't know about all that because there's some more information being told otherwise as well. We're going to get into a couple things, but one of the things that just caught my eye, and I've been seeing a lot of people talking about this, is the fact that the the kids are now speaking out, basically saying that they feel bad for Papa. Um, I don't think they have any reason to feel bad for Papa, but, uh, you know, that's just me. That's just my opinion. It's called the Mounties. Let's get into this, okay? Real quick, Willow Smith and Jaden Smith want privacy for their parents. It's kind of hard when your parents are just putting everything out on display. Also, in fact, uh, on top of that, they're talking about doing a a, a, a duet book, okay, that they're going to co-write a book together about their relationship and stuff called Don't Try This at Home, which could very well be a joke. Uh, but then again, it could very well be real. Let's be real. The money train is a coming. People are buying the hell out this book. Let's keep it stray funky. But moving on, the siblings reportedly feel bad for their dad, Will Smith, as Jada Pinkett Smith continues to make bombshell revelations about their marriage while promoting her worthy memoir. They know, according to a source, they know he has been going through a lot lately and this isn't helping. This is what the a source told the entertainment tonight on Monday and said all of the recent headlines about the couple's secret separation is really getting to Will Smith. Allegedly. Let me just say that again. Allegedly. Okay. Now they wish some of the family's private matters remained private. The insider claimed alleging that will 55 has been trying to stay busy by hanging out with good friends and his kids. Uh, the source also added, he's trying not to let any outside noise impact him. Will we'll always love Data and feels like he has always had her back and always will. He has been trying to be supportive while also taking care of himself. Hmm. And of course, a source reaching out to Willow and Jaden's rep have yet to hear their their response. Obviously, they were wanting to, a request for comment, and they have not heard anything as of yet. Okay, now let's look at this. Okay, first off, one thing that doesn't make any any bloody sense is the fact that they are trying to say leave dad alone. It don't make any sense because right now, Mama out here, she all up in the videos. She out here. Promoting the hell out of her book. Now I feel like it's kind of slowed down, obviously, the, because the book is out now. Everybody and their mama is getting their grubby hands on the book, like I've said before. But at the same time, there's still a lasting presence and a lasting effect on all the stuff that she's been talking about. Everything from Tupac to, to Chris Rock to Will to the slap to the entanglement to their separation, all the things that she put out here, some of these things have been unearthed that unearthed that, that I feel that he was hoping that would just kind of be buried and be done, you know, just that would just kind of fall on the wayside over time. But she's kind of reawoken those things. But the thing I do find interesting is that they're sitting there saying, hey, we feel bad for the dad for our dad for all this ish that's going on right now. Uh, but at the same time, if this 
doesn't come out, if she doesn't talk about this stuff, then nobody will buy her book, right? Now, obviously, you know, that's up to you guys to make that decision for yourselves. But there's another piece here that I do want to point out that I thought was very interesting as well. If they are sitting here saying, like, the first thing here they said, they are feeling bad for Papa. They're sitting there going, shut up. Leave Will alone. Leave Daddy alone, right? But now there's other reports that are saying that the kids are relieved that the truth about their sham marriage, uh, uh, their sham marriage is out. After years of being forced to lie to protect the family secret. So make up your mind. If sources are saying that they are, let me just pull that back up again, feeling bad for dad and they're basically saying, we want y'all to stop talking. We want privacy for our parents. It's going to be very hard. I will be honest. It's going to be very hard for that to happen where your mama just went on every single podcast known to man, and they're all being used. People are reacting to those clips. People are reading the book and talking about the book. It, what's done is done. The damage is done. But at the same time, can you be relieved and then be like, leave dad alone at the same time? I, I guess you can. But at the same time, in a way, you kind of have to pick one or the other. Be relieved and just let it be because obviously the, the 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 truth is out there and you don't have to lie anymore, kids. Ain't that wonderful? You don't have to lie to people's faces no more. Ain't that wonderful? You don't have to do that anymore. Or you go back to the whole, hey, we feel bad for dad and solidarity for him. You know, how dare they get all up in his business when mama is out here willfully eagerly putting all this mess out here for everyone to listen to and to judge. Interesting, right? Anyway, guys, that's the video. Comment down below. Let me know what your thoughts are. Listen, I I get it. I can only imagine what's behind, going on behind closed doors. This is a source. We don't know how reliable this source is, but at the same time, if this is true that he's having a hard time with all the backlash and all that. He's not showing that in social media. He's showing that he's unbothered. So, of, but of course, they're going to see very candidly how he's doing out here. Maybe he is having a hard time with this, but once he sees that check <laughs> getting deposited in that bank account, I don't think he's going to be feeling so bad anymore. Let's not forget too, if it's not a joke, they're already talking about doing a joint book together, working on a book, writing that together, and talking about their sham of a marriage, I guess, which I think is very interesting as well. Maybe this is because of him feeling some type of way where he's like, now I need to get my piece out. I need to get my side of the story out. And that could very well be it too. Then again, it may not. So we'll see what happens here, but that's very interesting. I, I feel like kids shouldn't even need to have anything to say with this stuff. They need to keep their mouths shut, stay on the side. But that's just my opinion. What is yours? Be sure to comment down below. Let me know what your thoughts are. Hit that like button down below. And let's not forget to crush that subscribe button if you're watching on YouTube, if you're watching on Facebook. Crush that Facebook page. And of course, if you can, I got a GoFundMe going on right now. I am raising some money for a holiday special. It's going to be filled with musical performances, skits, parodies, and uh, it will be, most of it will be live as well. So I'm really, really excited about this, but I could really use your help. If you feel like contributing, by all means, go ahead donate down below. The GoFundMe uh, link is in the description box down below. That'd be greatly, greatly appreciated. Anyway, it's time to get going. Be good to yourselves. Be good to one another. And I'll see you guys in the next video. This is the Pascal Show. Bye! P-A-S-C-A-L You are now rocking with that dude, Pascal. We be going wild.